Hey what is up, mortals? It is, Robo Celestial here with a new video for you. Welcome to What If Deku Had Perfect Combo Part 1. I just wanted to greet you guys by just saying. Sit back and relax, you're in for a treat. So, we begin. This will be another new What If series called What If Deku Had a Perfect Combination of His Parents' Quirks which as you can guess means that we'll be exploring the idea of Izuku being born with a quirk that takes elements of his parents' quirks and puts them together along with a few new things about quirks that we've learned to make a unique quirk that is a combination of his parents' abilities. But before we get into the specifics about Izuku's quirk let's go ahead and get into the story itself. Now we don't need to change much in the beginning except that Izuku is born with a single joint in his pinky toe because he was actually born with a quirk. But his life pretty much remains the same up until one day at school about a week after Bakugou developed his quirk. It was just another normal day until Izuku started to get hot flashes out of nowhere and his throat started to hurt. Initially it wasn't that bad but it kept getting worse with every passing minute. Eventually Izuku goes to the teacher saying that he didn't feel good so the teacher checked his temperature. After that the teacher gives Izuku some water and calls his mom to pick him up but right after the call Izuku starts coughing profusely and with each cough he gets hotter and hotter. When he suddenly breaths a bit of green fire out of his mouth accidentally catching a chair on fire. As this happens everyone starts to panic and when the teacher goes to get a fire extinguisher Izuku falls back onto a rug with his hands heating up setting it on fire as well. Needless to say this makes things worse causing teachers to start evacuating the school but before the green flames spread too far Izuku puts a hand out as he's backing away causing the fire to stop spreading. Izuku notices this and puts both his hands up and yells go back, which causes the flames to shrink and go back to the spots where they started. This gives a few teachers the chance to use extinguishers to finally put out the fires. After this Izuku's mom arrives to the school at about the same time as emergency services do. Once everyone calms down and explains what happened a police officer walks up to Inko saying it seems your son's quirk has awoken and caused quite a bit of havoc here but don't worry since this was clearly an accident no charges will be pressed. You must take him to a doctor right away to learn more about his quirk and ensure he doesn't accidentally hurt anyone. Inko nods in agreement and goes into an ambulance with Izuku to a hospital. After they arrive to the hospital Inko and Izuku are taken to a special room where a doctor is waiting for them. A few minutes pass as the doctor is looking at Izuku's charts and finishes a call. When he turns around and says so Mrs. Midoriya I hear that little Izuku here has finally developed his quirk and I've heard about everything that's happened. It seems like quite an interesting quirk. Inko says yes I know but do you think you can help Izuku learn how to control it? The doctor says that with a few tests it should be easy to do that. Izuku then asks his mom with tears in his eyes am I a villain now? I did something that a villain would do. I don't want to be a villain, I didn't mean to do it you know that right. Inko hugs Izuku trying to comfort him when the doctor says don't worry Izuku you're not a villain. We all know it was an accident and I heard you actually did something to help put the fire out so you're fine. I promise I'll do everything I can to help you learn how to control your power. After that the doctor asks a few more questions and takes some blood from Izuku once a few x-rays are done. The doctor then tells Inko and Izuku to rest up for tomorrow when they'll do more tests and takes them to a room where they can stay for as long as they need to while the tests are being done and while Izuku learns how to control his quirk. About nearly a week passes by while multiple tests are done. When the doctor sits Izuku and Inko down saying alright it took a little longer than we thought it would but we've learned a lot about Izuku's quirk, such as it's a combination of your quirk and his father's quirk but also has a minor mutation that changes how it works. Inko asks wait what do you mean by mutation? The doctor answers well you see all quirks that pass on to a person's child will change in some way or combine to make new ones but when a change is to a certain degree like Izuku it's classified as a kind of mutation. It's not rare but it's not common either. Inko replies okay so what is his quirk? How does it work, and what makes it a mutation? The doctor starts to explain what he learned about Izuku's quirk and how it works but let's just tell you about Izuku's quirk directly to save time. Izuku's quirk is called Boric Flames. His quirk gives him the ability to breathe green fire. He can also heat up his hands to set flammable objects on fire and any fire he creates this way will also be green. Izuku can completely manipulate any fire he creates primarily with hand movements but he can't really control other forms of fire. He is able to weaken fire around him but it only works on basic flames anything too strong can't be affected. He does have a higher tolerance to heat and his fire only requires oxygen to continue burning any other fuel source just spreads the flames but the biggest difference is a chemical that his body naturally produces called boric acid which is 
chemical that depending on what the variant is can do a few different things. But the kind that Izuku produces is what gives his fire its green color but it also has a second effect. You see there's a kind of boric acid that is actually used in fire retardants and Izuku's boric acid as it burns in his fire creates a special gas that actually gives his green flames an ability to overpower and fight back against fire even if they're hotter or stronger than his but this doesn't mean he can control anything including other fire that has boric acid in it. The chemical has nothing to do with Izuku's control over his fire. Unfortunately, the boric acid does make it harder for Izuku's flames to get hotter requiring him to use up more energy to increase the temperature of his fires and if he overuses his quirk he'll drain his stamina and overheat potentially even get heat stroke and his fires can be put out with water or fire retardants that don't have boric acid in them and incredibly strong fires can overpower him. Now I know some of you may not understand or like the addition of boric acid but with how quirks work in my hero it's not that crazy. Quirks can mutate extremely to a point where a person's quirk is nothing like their parents or where they're much more complicated. Also considering all of the other insane powers that quirks can give I don't think boric flames is anything crazier. But back to the story after the doctor finishes explaining Izuku's quirk. And Ko asks boric acid why does Izuku have that neither me or his dad have it so why does he? The doctor responses it's a mutation. I don't really know why it happened but it's not very uncommon for a mutation like this to develop so I wouldn't worry. The doctor then tells Inko that Izuku has learned how to control his quirk to a good enough of a point that he won't accidentally hurt someone and can go back to his normal life but there's a catch and when Inko asks what it is the doctor says well, it seems Izuku has a strong hesitation to use his quirk for any reason it took a lot for us to even get him to use it for the tests. And we're worried that the other kids or people in general will treat him badly because of what happened at his school. So we're giving him a special quirk counselor to monitor him and help Izuku through any issues he may face. And Ko understands and thanks the doctor for doing so much for them and by the end of the day Izuku is discharged from the hospital and goes back to school the next day. When he does a couple of students avoid him completely but many crowd around Izuku saying how awesome his quirk is and how it's even better than Bakugu's. After a few minutes Bakugu walks up to Izuku saying hey do I mean Izuku. Don't think that you're so great because you have a cool quirk now. Mine's better and I'll use it to become the number one hero. Got it. After this Bakugu and Izuku become much closer as friends and as they get older they actually become rivals much earlier on. Thanks to Izuku's counselor and Bakugu. Izuku isn't as worried about using his quirk and has really good control over it though he doesn't really like using it on people and is very cautious about using it. Also Izuku is no longer called Deku he's called Ryu which means dragon and is used during friendly banter between Izuku and Bakugu. Also due to Izuku having a really good quirk a few other things change. The first is that Izuku is kind of popular, but because of what happened when his quirk awakened he's not incredibly popular and some people are scared of him because of how dangerous his quirk is and treat him like a villain but thanks to Bakugu. This doesn't happen very often so Izuku is more confident than he was originally. But he's still a kind person who is humble and is still a big hero fanboy but he's not as shy and he doesn't act as nervous about things. Another thing that changes is that Bakugu is a bit more calm and relaxed due to Izuku's influence on him so he doesn't act like a complete jerk towards people but he is still quick to anger and yell but he's better than he was in canon. Pretty much a lot of negative traits of Bakugu and Izuku are gone but their overall personalities are the same. Other than this not much else changes until the story of my hero fully begins. One day as Izuku is walking to school he sees a fight between a giant villain and heroes which he stops to watch and write notes in his hero notebook just like in canon. After that Izuku goes to school. And the day goes on. Towards the end of class the teacher tells all the students that they should be thinking of what they want to do for their future. But then says who am I kidding I know you all want to go on the hero track. The class shouts yeah and starts using their quirks when the teacher says yes yes you all have very impressive quirks but don't use them during class. Now I see we have two students going for UA. Bakugu and Midoriya I'm not surprised. Everyone in the classroom looks at the two saying how it makes sense that the two best students would go for the best school in the country when Bakugu says of course it makes sense we're better than all you other losers. The class gets offended by this and starts yelling at Bakugu when Izuku says you might not want to act so full of yourself spike hair. An attitude like that might ruin your chances of becoming a hero let alone the number one hero which was never going to happen with me around so it's not really a loss for you anyway. Bakugu yells shut up Ryu I'm going to be number one not you. Izuku replies yeah yeah I've heard that all before. Man you really need some new material this is getting boring. Bakugu smirks saying ha yeah you got me there you damn nerd. After that the class finishes up and everyone starts to leave. As Izuku is packing his bag Bakugu walks up to him and asks yo Izuku want to hang out with me and the extras. Izuku answers sorry I was planning on heading back home to look over my hero notebook and think of ways I can use my quirk better. Bakugu replies man you're such a nerd Ryu. 
Well later I'll see you tomorrow. Bakugo and his group leave and Izuku gets everything packed up leaving as well deciding to take a shortcut home. While walking Izuku goes under a bridge and past a closed manhole when the sludge villain crawls out of it and jumps at Izuku yelling you'll be a good puppet for a while. So don't cause me any trouble. Izuku immediately spins around as the sludge villain is jumping at him and in a panic breaths fire at half strength in an attempt to block or scare away the villain but it doesn't work and barely slows down the villain but it's enough to let Izuku dodge. The sludge villain then says now that's a fine quirk I'll be sure to make use of that when I take control of your body. And after the villain continues to attack, as he does Izuku uses more and more fire forcing himself to increase the power. But all it's doing is helping him to evade the attacks and hurt the villain slightly but that's all Izuku can do until after the fifth fire breath attack where he gathers all the remaining flames that he shot at the villain into one massive fireball for a powerful attack and as he does this All Might jumps out of the manhole and sees the fight going on, being pretty surprised to see such a large fireball made right before his very eyes. Izuku and the sludge villain don't notice him so All Might decides to watch and see what happens next. After Izuku dodges a few more attacks and fully gathers his flames he sends the massive fireball flying at the villain. When it hits there's a small explosion of fire and smoke as the villain is forced back a few feet actually taking slightly more damage from it but the sludge villain quickly recovers and while Izuku is trying to catch his breath, attacks again but is stopped by a powerful punch from All Might which creates an air pressure current completely defeating the villain in an instant as All Might says those famous words. I am here. After the villain is defeated Izuku immediately starts to fanboy out asking All Might a ton of questions and to sign his notebook when All Might says young man I'm always happy to meet a fan but I have to gather up this villain so I can turn him into the police so I can't really talk until I do. After All Might says this Izuku grabs an empty bottle and offers to help which All Might is happy to accept and thanks to the extra help the sludge villain is fully captured faster than he was originally giving All Might more time to talk to Izuku. After that All Might thanks Izuku for the help and signs his notebook saying I saw you use your quirk young man. In most cases that's illegal especially for dangerous quirks like yours. However since you needed to defend yourself you won't get in trouble but I'll admit you had great control over it I'm very impressed. Izuku replies thanks All Might but I didn't always have such good control over my quirk. In fact I almost burnt down an entire building when it awoken and some people still look at me in a bad way because of it. After Izuku says that there's a little moment of silence until Izuku asks All Might I've been wondering could I become a great hero like you even with a quirk that's as dangerous as mine and even if some people look at me like I'm a villain can I still do good? All Might looks at Izuku and say young man after what I saw I think you can be a great hero. Don't let what happened in the past or what people think of you keep you from helping others. If you're not a villain don't ever think that. If you're really worried about your control on your quirk then train your body and mind to handle it better. Okay. Izuku smiles and nods his head in agreement thanking All Might for the advice. Right after he does All Might jumps away with the sludge villain meaning that there's no incident with Bakugu needing to be saved and more importantly this means Izuku has no idea of All Might's weak form or one for all. Once Izuku gets home he calls up Bakugu telling him what happened. After a small conversation and yelling by Bakugu, Izuku comes up with plans for the two of them to train together for the UA entrance exam which didn't take much to convince Bakugu to do because it gives him a chance to see where Izuku is with his quirk and it will help himself to get stronger as well. Like stated before while Bakugu is a little more chill he's still very competitive especially with Izuku so he will still be a little selfish sometimes. Moving on after a few days of searching Izuku finds a beach full of trash that would be perfect for training but due to Izuku's and Bakugu's quirks being so dangerous they initially initially can't use them and mostly focus on building up their physical strength. Izuku has taken All Might's advice to heart so he is putting effort into making his body stronger and naturally Bakugu doesn't want Izuku to get ahead so he does the same kind of training. After about a week Izuku is able to get special permission for him and Bakugu to use their quirks provided that they do clean up the beach, don't cause any problems like destruction of property, and as long as they are watched by an officer or pro hero. And with that the remaining 10 months of training fully begins. Thank you all for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed. Before you leave we would just like to let you know that We The Celestials has many other channels for your entertainment and viewing purposes. All the information you'll need is right below here in the description. So feel free to check out all the other incredible projects our team creates. Secondly, on behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details will be in the description below. That's all for today's video. So goodbye and have a divine day.